What's up, everybody? There we go. I, I say the same thing over and over. I'm trying to break that habit. Anyway, so um, we did this sign for uh, a YouTuber, and you guys might have seen it already. We're not sure how many videos this one's going to be, but just in case this is the second video, um, we did this for a YouTuber that is does commentary on, a, uh, on MMA and UFC and stuff like that, and Dad got me hooked on him. Now I watch him all the time. I don't watch TV anymore. I watch YouTubers. Um, so this thing turned out amazing. We're really, really happy with that way. Yeah, I, you know, guys, I, I don't know if it comes out as good on camera as it does in person, but this thing really, it, this is a piece of teak. Yeah, and uh, really happy with it. And we're gonna put a bunch more coats of clear on it. But oh, here. this thing, it it teaks the cake. Wow. No, that, that was, was bad. Good. That was reaching a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so, but, um, you know, his, his, his YouTube channel is Jesse on Fire. And um, we thought it'd be kind of cool to try to do something a little different. So what we're going to do is, Dad, we set this over there so I don't get any overspray on it because that would suck. So what we're going to do, we came up with a process. We are going to cut this thing out and try to make some flames to fit on top of that. This is something totally different, and we're figuring it out. I almost said making it up. That's not really. We're figuring it out as we go, and we're going to kind of see how it turns out. Uh, we have an idea of how we want to do it, and, um, and we're going to take you guys with us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing red. Um, Oh, yes. So this is, what, three coats? I think we put three That's coats on it. Three coats, yes. Yeah, three coats of the primer right here. And um, basically, because this was just uh, three-quarter MDF, it looked like that on the back, and it paint soaks in really bad. So we put three coats of primer and gave it a light sand with a thousand grit sandpaper just to make it smooth so everything would fit on top or would not soak in too bad. So... We're going to paint this thing red, the whole thing, and it'll probably take a couple coats. We're not going to show you every coat because you know what we're doing. So we're going to paint the whole thing red and let it dry. And this is just regular uh, gloss enamel. So this isn't the ink or anything like that. This, this uh, is just regular gloss enamel. So it takes longer to dry, but it has a really nice bright red. So here we go. Let's do this. When it comes to spraying, I always feel like Dad's judging me when he watches. I can't help it. Don't worry about me. Worry about everybody on the yeah, other side of the camera. I feel like you guys yeah. are you guys are judging me. Of people are judging you. <laughs> so this will probably take it'll take at least two, maybe three coats. But what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing red, and then when we come back. We are going to add another color to it. So we're going to try to make it look like flames. So stick with us. We'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, let's uh, let's move on with this thing. I'm excited to see how this uh, this uh, theoretical project that Ryan and I are doing on these flames. So we just printed out just a simple little flame pattern. Uh, we've got our board that is already uh, it's primed. It's got the red on it. It's got the orange on it. It's got three coats three. of clear on top of that so we have covered it in blue tape that's uh this is the the that's the the color is underneath there now we're going to cut it out completely with the uh spiral upcut but we got to get it uh, uh solid on our board you guys know that my favorite way my favorite way to stick this stuff down is with the the star bond which is one of our sponsors it's the uh, most amazing product it's just I, I just love this stuff we use it all the time for all kinds of things but this is probably one of my favorite ways to use it so i'm just using the thin and and just kind of putting it all over all over my my piece that i want to glue to you see i made some registration lines on there just kind of glue it uh, drew lines around the square and uh, I like the thin for this because I don't use the thin a lot in other applications and then I'm just going to use the accelerator and I know that it exactly where it goes and exactly how I want it on there 
just going to put some accelerator on there, put it in place, and it just it just has to be close. It doesn't. It's not like it's critical that it be exactly the right spot. I'll put some pressure on that. Leave that for a couple minutes. Now we are ready to um, to move on to the next step and put our image on here and cut all the way through this thing. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got our board glued on. Okay, we have it taped, and then what we did, we're trying to draw flames. Okay, so we use this kind of as a reference, and then what we did is we drew the radius on here, and then we just kind of eyeballed the flames a little bit. Can you see that, Dad? Uh, let me let me zoom in. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I can see it good. Uh, tip it forward a little bit. There, that's even better. No glare. Yeah, okay. looks good. So now we're going to, I'm going to do the first cut with a profile bit, cut around this, and then Dad's going to cut it out with a quarter inch uh, spiral up cut. So here we go. I haven't cut MDF in a long time, and I get used to my uh, uh, process, I guess. But MDF, you should wear a mask, because this stuff, it'll make you pretty sick, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to put my mask on, and it's going to fog up my glasses, and it's going to irritate me, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I don't like throwing up. I hate these kind of clips. Yeah, yeah. Just find something to connect to. Yep, there you That'll go. work. Is it tight enough? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is going to suck. All right. So. I should really leave that off. How's my hair? It's beautiful. Oh, oh man, I, I I would kill to have hair like that. You've got a cool little pattern going on oh, right in your oh. your five head there. It's a, it looks it's great. A, I'm not going bald. It's a cowlick. <laughs> So we got the flames and that's just the, the first pass. Uh, then dad is gonna come back and we're not sure. Hopefully we'll be able to do it in one pass, but this is three quarter inch thick material. So it might take two more passes, but that gives us a good line to, uh, to do the cutout. And then I'll, uh, I'll do the uh, radius and then we'll come back and you'll see dad start cutting them out. Let's cut some flames. So Ryan did a great job following the line, getting the flames kind of uh, shaped out here. Did the 
the semicircle here, the arch. So now I just got to take it from there and uh, work with the spiral up cut. Here we go. Okay, that's uh, that's actually the first test with the Bauer, the new cordless Bauer. Did pretty well. I'm not uh, disappointed in that at all. I can hear the RPM starting to go down a little bit. And some of the routers do that where they kind of lose RPMs a little bit as the battery gets worn down. I haven't looked, but my guess is the battery is uh, starting to get, yeah, see it's down it's down to one light on there and i could tell by hearing the sound of the rpm some of them just go like full speed right to a stop but some of them like this kind of graduate and they lose rpm so we'll want to swap the battery out if, uh, when we do our next cut so uh what i'm seeing here is by and large our idea is kind of working but then there are some spots like this where that flame, see this being gone, no problem at all. We could just peel that off and be gone. But this, we want this to stay down. And so I'm not sure how that's gonna work, especially since um, we still have to make this cut and then we gotta make one more cut because we only went halfway through. So uh, we're gonna stick these back down. I'm gonna cut this half uh, circle off camera. Uh, you guys saw definitely lots of what I've done here. Then I'm going to reset the depth, put a new battery on, and we'll cut the rest of the way through. We'll be right back. Well, folks, you can see down in there where I've cut all the way through the board, you can see the blue tape. I, uh, I set it at full depth. So I could pop that thing off there right now, but I really don't need to. I might as well keep it there just so I have extra place for my base to ride when I'm cutting this stuff I just uh, I wanted to get that cut first but it definitely is cutting all the way through so uh, and again this little bower I put in that new battery on it it's it's cutting good nice and solid so uh, we'll cut a little bit here and see if we can get those flames cut out trying to keep these these pieces of tape from peeling up too much so I'm going to try and be real careful of that time to put my mask back on By the way, Ryan's wearing a mask, too, in case you guys were curious. All right, guys, it's not quite cutting all the way through, but it's it's really, really close. It's within a few thousands. Actually, some places it is cutting all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. Yeah, 
It's nasty stuff, huh, sugar? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this off camera. Um, and then when we come back with all, well, hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep these stuck down and uh, we'll take the next step. So hang with us. We'll be right back. So we've got all of our routing done there. A uh, couple things I want to mention here, guys, is this is sticking out of there a full 7 eighths of an inch beyond the base. If you're not used to doing this, this really is dangerous. So if you're going to do it, take your time. Do not take any chances because pulling that bit uh, out and putting that bit back in, I've been doing this for decades, so I'm used to it. But if you're not, and you're going to attempt this, just be super, super careful. The other thing is uh, definitely wear your respirator when you're dealing with this. And, and I know a lot of you guys say wear the respirator all the time, and I get that. I understand that. Generally, I don't wear a respirator, and that's at my peril. You guys, if you feel like you need a respirator with anything that you're cutting, absolutely do it. Do that. Uh, we don't discourage that at all. In fact, we encourage it. You guys have to be cognizant and responsible for your own um, safety and stuff. But anyway, this router bit super dangerous, so just be real careful. Anyway, all right, so let's pop this thing off of there. Wow, that came out easy. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, this Starbond trick with this blue tape, it's the best for me. Just like that. And you can see the tape adhesive failed before the Starbond failed. Now the tricky part. Let's see if we can get this off of there. Just like that. There's our flames. So here's what we're going to do. Originally, Ryan and I have been talking about it. Uh-oh. Mic drop. Nice. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we originally were going to um, try and put a chamfer around these edges and then do these edges yellow with a yellow chamfer on it. But because we've got so much of this going on, we decided that we're still going to do yellow on the edges, but we're going to... Um, we're going to peel this off, and we're not going to do the chamfer thing. We're just going to do the yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel all of this off of here, and I might as well do it right now, I suppose. See how it looks. Maybe, maybe on camera, maybe not. Oh, it looks cool. It looks pretty cool just the way it is. Yeah. But... So what we're going to do is we're going to put brand new tape on here and then turn it upside down. And we've got to primer this with that same stuff we primered uh, the, uh, I don't know, what did we primer with that yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah, we primered this. So we're going to use that white uh, Zinser, I think, that cover all primer stuff. We're going to do the edge. So we're going to tape this with brand new blue tape, get it nice and stuck. So we're, we're protecting our red and our orange, and then we're going to prime this uh, and then uh, spray it yellow. So stick with us, and we'll be back, and we'll show you the process. All right, so let's put some yellow on this thing. Again, we've got tape on the front, the red and the orange. We've got tape on there. We're just using a, a gloss enamel. Again, this would I would never use this. Well, probably would never use this for carving signs because it would bleed. But this is MDF and everything's going to be covered uh, covered with paint. So we're just going to spray the yellow on here. And we've got three coats of the, three or four coats of the primer. So we might need a couple coats of this. Comes the wind. Perfect time for the wind. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it looks like the primer covered pretty well. But we're probably going to get at least two coats of the yellow. And then uh, we'll do that off camera. 
Then when this stuff is all dry, we'll come back and we'll reveal what it looks like from the front side. So stick with us. Don't forget the, the far edge on the right hand side. Yep. All right, so we'll see how it looks. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, let's get this uh, finished up. So we have the, the flames that we have got all painted. We've got all of our yellow on here. Now we have to, uh, this is the way we've decided to kind of do it. So this is removable and uh, Jesse can use it or not. We still don't know. We're still kind of, Ryan and I are still kind of up in the air whether this is something that we're going to like or not. But we uh, we finished it up. So the way what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a piece. This is the back side. I'm just going to put a piece across here that this will go behind the sign when it's up on a wall. So I'm just going to stick it down with um, with some star bond. I don't need much. This is actually more like just a, an extra. Oops, I didn't put the accelerator on there. Should have done that before I put it down. All right. Hold that in place. And then we've got... Uh, where's my gun go? Uh, I've just got some... My little pin nailer, and I've got 5 eighths... Um, five eighths nails in here pin nails I'm just gonna put a few of those in maybe I was I guess I was locked <laughs> that yeah I love that thing I love that thing so that's in place Now, I guess it's time. Time for the big reveal. Yeah, we'll see if these this flame thing came out like we were hoping it would. Here we go. Uh, we got some primer showing through there. I think that's... We can touch that up, though. So the primer kind of seeped underneath the painter's tape. All the way around it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Time to take the gloves off. Time to take the gloves off. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, a little cut. I cut my finger the other day. That gum it. It's oh, irritating. Okay. I cut it by folding sandpaper. I had a little piece of this sandpaper. It wasn't this particular piece. I had a little piece of sandpaper. I, I folded it over like this, and then I rubbed my finger across the seam, and it sliced me. I've been dealing with it ever since. Anyway, I'll try not to bleed. I ain't got time to bleed, actually. <laughs> I got too much to do. <laughs> For those of you that are Predator fans. Everybody's All right. a Predator fan. Well, everybody should be. That's right. All right. Well, if we didn't have that little white on there, I think I might like it. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to touch that white up because I can't live with that. Tilt it forward a little more. There we go. Actually, I kind of like it, other than that white white uh, primer around there. Yeah, that's. So we're we're gonna touch that up and uh, see how it looks, and then we'll be back. Okay, so um. I found these markers. These are the Tombow markers that I've used in the past, and I found those, and uh, I think it does actually a pretty good job of, uh, of kind of covering up those white, uh, those white edges. 
So I just saved the last little piece. I've done most of it off camera. Save the last little piece so you guys can see. You know, it's just, it's a matter of just trying stuff and see if you like it or if you don't. And that's what this, this whole flame thing is. I like the way, honestly, I like the way the orange and the red kind of blended. I think, Tilt it up just a touch, Dad. I think that, that, that actually worked. Um, now, this will be the first time we've actually put it on the top of the sign. And we'll see if this, uh, we'll see how it works on, on the sign itself. You need me to come hold the sign? No, I, I think I can just, I think I literally, I can just do it like this. And I don't know if that's centered, if I got to go one way or the other, I don't know. Alright, so let me zoom in there. It's actually pretty centered, yeah. Is it? Yeah. So there's the flames. All right. So now it's a matter of, do we like it or do we not? What do you think? I can't see it. Well, I, yeah, let me, I, well I've got a mirror behind you, so I can kind of see it in the mirror. So does it look like uh, James Woods' uh, hair in uh, Hercules? Hercules. <laughs> Let me hold it and you, you come over here and look at it. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think, your, I think your theory worked pretty well. Yeah, right? I think that, you know, because it, it I, and if we put a hanger just right in that area yeah. above that, that, that board, I think, uh, I think it would hang on the wall just fine. You know, I don't dislike it. I'm not sure whether I like it. I'm not sure whether I like it better without the flames or with the flames. You but know what I, I think it's throwing me off these. Yeah, if it if it came down flush. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I if that I if, don't care for these here. If this came down flush, if we had either brought this down all the way to a point yeah. where this this wasn't cut off here and it came down to a point followed and, the radius. and followed that radius, I think I think it would look better. I agree. Or if we I don't know, if we Right. trimmed it like that but it's too late to do that really without messing it up i don't know guys what do you what do you guys yeah we want your guys's opinion we, too we don't know I, yeah I, I don't know i'm gonna send it with jesse and let him decide if he likes it or he can trash it it's the sign. I just don't want it to take away from the sign. And honestly, we talked about this. The fact that the the way the logo is, I didn't think it would look as good without color on the logo itself. I thought that we would need to paint this, airbrush it, or something. But that wood is just such a spectacular color that you know. I think we're to the uh, opinion that it looks better with no color on the logo on the sign itself at all. I. I'm leaning towards no on the flames. I don't, I think it just takes away. I think the idea was there. I think it's a sound idea. Yeah. But the fact that we, we did this, you know, we left this the way it is. Yeah. Especially if it weren't for this, I'm, I don't know. I might think different, but I think it just takes away from, from the sign because the sign is just mean looking. You know, yeah. it's a mean looking sign with the dark wood and then the, the white streak all the way up. And I think it looks great and I think the flames take away from it. I don't disagree. I think it was worth doing. Yeah, definitely. Because we, we learned a lot. We learned what we did wrong and yeah. um, I think it was worth doing. But um, And I think the colors and stuff... Look pretty cool in a different context where it wasn't with this. Yeah. I think the colors actually look pretty cool. I think so too. I think it worked out really well. It's just not for this sign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, well there, there you go, guys. That is it. Um, it's done. We're gonna uh, we're gonna ship it off to Jesse, and uh, hope he likes it. At least the sign part of it. And um, we're uh, this is gonna wrap it up. We're we're done. So if you have any questions, please email us, Eric at makeawoodsign.com or 
Ryan with Dave Signs at Gmail. .com. I'll get over there with you. Yeah. Come on over, Dad. Yeah, why not? So, uh, anyway, we really had fun. And these, uh, these teak rounds, as tough as it was to carve, man, the finished product, because of the, I don't know, the way the, that grain is, it yeah. just is so spectacular. And this has probably got at least 10 coats of, yeah. uh, of the clear finish, at so. least 10. So, um, Super happy yeah. with it. Super happy Jesse with it. Likes it. I, I think hope he so. Will. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, guys, thanks again so much for watching. If you have any questions, email us. If you need supplies, there's the website. Um, we'll be do. We've got a lot more cool projects coming up. So stay tuned, and um, I hope don't, you guys don't. Sorry. Oh no, go ahead. No. Don't forget to uh, leave comments. The more comments yeah. you guys leave, the kind of the more uh, YouTube shares our videos and algorithm stuff. and all that yeah. and we really want your opinion on on the sign itself with the flames without yeah. the flames we really want to hear your guys's opinion because we're kind of i'm kind of leaning toward what you're saying right not completely because i really like the flames you know on their own yeah maybe uh, like you say just not in conjunction with this sign yeah i think there's something else we could we could find something else to do this that process that process yeah. and to make it look really really yeah. cool yeah i just don't think it's for this one but okay. yeah let us know guys uh like and and if you like what you see subscribe and yeah all that stuff you guys know what's going on we'll see you next time guys love you bye bye Thank you.